first company in college. It was called SponsorNet New Media. And it was this like prolonged failure where we were slowly, there were several points in time when I knew it was failing and I wasn't quite done with it yet. And I had three co-founders and we were slowly just coming to terms with the fact that we're never going to succeed building world's best. And I think we may have been the first or second banner advertising network in 1994 in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, with no venture capital possible while trying to not fail out of computer science. It was this it was doomed for failure from day one, but we still sort of stuck it out for about a year. And uh, there's a point, or two specific points in time when I sort of knew it was going to not really go well, and then when I knew it failed. So the the second point in time when I knew it wasn't going to go well was when DoubleClick launched. And we're sort of like, oh, they're doing what we're doing, but they're awesome and in Palo Alto and... They have lots of people who know advertising, and they have every feature in my mental roadmap already implemented. Like, all right, well, probably, we're, we're going to be number two. Like, we're going to be okay. And then six months later, we're basically out of money, and I literally had exhausted every student credit card I had ever been able to get. And it was myself and one of my other three co-founders on the drive back from Chicago, where we went out to try to raise money from Leo Burnett, which is one of the largest advertising agencies at the time anyway, based in Chicago, where we told them about the internet and told them about new media and media buying. And they were sort of looking at us like we were space aliens. And one of, one of the people in the room said, how old are you, son? And <laughs> a variety of emotions went through my mind, and none of them were positive. And finally, we sort of packed our stuff in our happy little car and drove down highway 57 and we spent the first 15 minutes just silent because it was like the end like this company is now out of money i am 5,000 in debt which seemed like an incredible amount of money at the time and there was nothing else to do like we were just done like there were, there were no other options and we spent for 15 minutes silent and then 15 minutes kind of trying to start a conversation about what's going to happen next but it was like no not really like the other two guys are moving to Palo Alto and they're dropping out of school and they're going to go to the places where cool people go to start. This is exactly the year that Netscape launched or maybe a year after Netscape launched. Maybe Netscape was thinking about going public, but like, the web was happening and we were in Champaign-Urbana. It started in Champaign-Urbana kind of, but it moved on to Palo Alto and we were still trying to graduate. And uh, it's like a three hour drive for two hours were miserable. And I was basically like, well, do I like go back to my dorm room and do I, tell my parents that they were right and I shouldn't start companies, I should go get a PhD. And then the last 30 minutes was sort of like, wait, we're about to get to Champagne. We should probably discuss the next company we're going to start because, well, what else is there to do once you graduate? And that's what it is. Like the next 30 minutes, we're like, all right, well, that one's dead, so let's just go to another one. And by the time we got to champagne Urbana, we had basically had a business plan. And we're like, let's go register another one with a county clerk. And that was that. So it was like a very brief moment of failure all packed into a single road trip. I actually think that was the moment when I realized that I cared less about what company I am starting or running and just kind of finalized this view that I'm never going to work for anybody. I'm just going to start companies. And that was actually probably one of the more defining moments of my young adult life where I sort of went, huh. So basically, even though I just ran myself out of money, out of everything, and completely destroyed relationships with everyone I ever cared about. Like, I think it was right around the same time my girlfriend not only kicked me out of the apartment we shared, she proceeded to bring me everything I left behind in the middle of the night and dumped it on my doorstep. They said, you know, you obviously care more about your servers than you care about me. It's over between us. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm probably, she's probably not entirely wrong but this is kind of the life that's what I'm going to do and that was actually pretty happy I sort of knew that I passed through the like the pain threshold has been reached and I went by it and it was okay so every time I failed subsequently uh, which this was the company number one that failed there was several more before the first one that actually did halfway decently and uh, the next set of failures are a lot easier it's kind of like oh I, I know how this feels this is going to be miserable and then it's going to be okay and then I'm going to start another company 
And so uh, after that, I was like, all downhill.